Hello y'all, uh, last here again, and last time I left off with this, so, yeah. Um, one thing I want to say before I start this video, um, if you have a question, or something doesn't work, and you send me a message, it doesn't help if you send that message 200 times, you know, um, it only is annoying for me, and for the people we actually need help because most of these guys that sent me the message 20 or 30 times is question can I get your scripts can you please send me your script because mine don't work so what I basically think is you didn't never actually try to type them because the scripts are really really easy uh, if these don't work and we're gonna get into more advanced you're definitely gonna be in problem also I want to teach you something and by just copying stuff you're not gonna learn anything um, yeah, so that, uh, if you have any problems with stuff, um, normally we already fixed it in, you know, a later video, so if some people ask me a question, um, yeah, this doesn't work, and there were video 2, and we fixed the problem in video 3. So, that's always, you know, if you have a problem, something doesn't work, please make sure you watch all the videos first for asking me questions because you know I don't test everything every video and then I don't fix everything every video so you actually gotta watch everything in order to have something that works so that being said let's continue with the video okay um today so what I want to add now is if players connect I want them to do something or you know just I want something to happen. So, what am I gonna do? Um, I could go to this, do a connect, copy this, or just type it. I'm too lazy to type it, I know. And what you wanna do then is we don't need those anymore because we're gonna do this all in the lobby. So we don't need that anymore. And so this is now here, that's. So basically, if someone connects to the server, network dot instantiate. Wow, that's seriously the first time it asks me to type instantiate. It's wow, it's just getting better. I'm sorry if you guys hear the rain. It's raining outside. I live in Belgium. It's a shitty country where it rains all the time. So I'm sorry for that. Um, if you can hear it, and you know it's a pretty irritating noise. Um, instantiate. Whoa, what the hell am I doing now? Um, bar player. No wait. Uh, lobby player. Um, so yeah, it is. And then, the lobby player, we want to instantiate that lobby player. Um, we want to instantiate transform dot position. And transform dot rotation. Now, what this do? What we we'll basically will do is every time something it connects to the server, um, you know, we'll instantiate a, a guy. Now I forgot something. We also have to apply this. Because someone disconnects in the lobby, we of course want their name to disappear. Uh, so, what will this player hold? This one actually be some guy that walks around. This will just be an empty game object that holds a script that, uh, that we'll call player data or player's status or something. And this will hold the name, you know, the level, uh, all its stats that people will be able to watch in the lobby. So, I think that's. Pretty straightforward. 
pretty easy. I mean, that's the easiest way I could think of adding this. So what I want to do next is I want to um, make the list. First, we're gonna have to collect all the lobby players. So players equals to game objects. No wait, find dot game object. No equals to game. Object with stack now. Um, oh man, I completely forgot. Game objects don't find. Nope. Okay, then I'm just gonna look it up. I'll pause the video in the process. Okay, um, I feel pretty, pretty stupid actually, because it's so simple. And we just have to type find objects with tag. Make sure you have the S, and then just type tag. So yeah, I feel, I feel kind of stupid now actually, but you know, this is the way it goes. Oh man, just stupid. But anyways, live goes on. Okay, now we're gonna create our lobby list of players here. That's actually what started off wrong. First, what you're gonna do is create a GUI loadout, a layout loadout. Oh my gosh, and this is gonna be, first we're gonna do begin area, this has to be, you know, it's just like a normal GUI rect. Um, this is gonna screen dot width, no, 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 fuck you, no suggestions, my ass, bitch. Mm -mm. I have actually no fucking ID, but I think this is right, you know. Screen dot width. Width, yes, width. Thank you. Um, and screen dot height. I'm gonna have a nice space. Um, and this is course has to be minus let's say 400 I mean five now minus screen dot width divided by 2 minus 100 or 150 <laughs> Okay, whatever, and then this has got to be, this is wrong, this got to be zero, nope, it's got to be 20, or like 30, this has got to be then screen dot width width. Divided by two minus one forty, and then this gotta be screen dot height. But you know, like, once again, it doesn't really matter because we'll have a preset maximum of players, and I don't really think we're ever gonna get to doing. 32 is a little bit over enthusiastic, so I'm gonna set it to 12. Just you know. Okay, um. Where was I? I was doing something. Oh, yeah, I was 
creating the GUI, but I'm completely wrong looking. Completely looking, completely looking wrong. Oh my gosh. Okay, then we have to create a GUI layout dot begin horizontal. And we don't have this pretty easy. Then we need to actually type the stuff we want. So for of our level name of name of like, ah, level names fine for me in nope that's wrong that's not correct we don't want a level or levels we want our players player name player name in Layers. And this is Yeah, this is gonna work. Because I'm awesome. It's the only reason it's gonna work. Uh if G UI layout dot Button. I'm gonna create a button because. Oh, for, you know, for some reason I just want to create a button. I don't know why. I just like buttons. And this is gonna be player name. What is it gonna do? If you wanna do this, debug. Dot log. This will say then uh, player. No wait. This is just gonna say player name plus um. No, we don't have that yet. So we just want to say player name the lobby. But doesn't really. Matter just if there if there is something in there that does something, nobody gives a fuck. And we need GUI dot uh, new GUI layout. I don't know why, but every time I want to say layout, I want to say loadout. Um, dot flexible space, I believe. Yes, flexible space. I didn't, this is so long time that I work with GUI loadout, so I, every, if it says, if it is a possible layer, if it is a possible option, it will probably be correct or not. <laughs> and horizontal, F and horizontal. Then, and area? No, I think so. And then, you know, if it gives me that option, it will probably be correct. Yes, and there we go. Okay. So, we're gonna just test this to see if it works. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we wanna. 25. Oh, yeah. I see. We forgot the zero. It's really important. I mean, we have, we will probably get on our error. Yes. Okay. So what do we did wrong in here? This. This just say. Um. Click. We're lazy. And then this gotta be dot do string. Bam. Yeah. Oh yeah, 
you see how many just crazy okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create our lobby player and what we're gonna do that is we're first gonna close up all this mess I'm gonna go to prefab oh, we're gonna create a new empty game object I'm gonna call this one lobby dude this is a lobby dude and we're just gonna tag it by player and for now this will be the only um, the only thing reference stuff it has so I'm gonna spawn a couple of those in there run the script see what happens okay that's not exactly how I imagined it to work but hey that's okay because I know what's wrong well, I've actually did a couple of things wrong and this gotta be vertical I don't know I'm so stupid, I don't know the fucking difference between vertical and horizontal. This is And then we did something else wrong. Yeah, so we got all the dudes here and it says Unity Engine dot game object. Now we don't want that and I have uh, unfortunately, I have absolutely no idea how to turn it off. If you know how to turn it off, feel free to tell me how. I've just completely no idea. But you know, it it, it will say the the name and then Unity Engine and Game Engine. We'll fix that later. Another thing we want to or I want to fix is that it needs to move a bit. So, I'm pretty tired. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. I just add plus 140 and then everything will be just fine okay so ultimate check is we'll call a guy, we'll guy this we'll guy this we'll call a guy this Yay, and this you can see this will be all the players. And the sizes are right. So that's fine. Now now the thing we have to do is delete that stupid Unity engine that game object crap. But I think this was a pretty short video. Oh no, 18 minutes. So you know save this. Our lobby is almost done. Um, you know, the only thing we have to do is create player data script. Ugh. Something else. But um, for now, you know, this is right. This is part three. Yeah, part three. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.